Now divers are searching in the Climline Pond after a Vancouver man is presumed drowned. Now we just learned he is 42-year-old pioneer Kalulau. Welcome to Coin 6 News at Noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. This is the fourth drowning in Clark County this week. Well, we sent Brent Weisberg to go beyond the headlines today about the dangers that swimmers face. And Brent, you found out that divers think there's actually a common pattern with all these cases. Jenny, good afternoon to you. The dive teams are actually just beyond where we are. And just within the last 30 minutes, we've been able to talk with Pioneer's family. They tell us that he is originally from the Hawaiian Islands and grew up swimming. They call this a freak accident and want others to be aware of the dangers involved in swimming in the cold waters. On this week alone, I've also discovered that three of the victims did not plan on being in the water, meaning that they didn't have life jackets or proper swimwear. Things happen very quickly. It's not the way the sheriff's office wanted to start the summer. This is a tragedy for the community. I checked with dive teams to see if they found any common patterns. The water is cold right now. I also learned that in each of these searches, divers have difficult and dangerous conditions to deal with. The water that they're searching in is cold and it's murky. What does that mean for search efforts? I wanted to know that answer for you and discovered this. They're not able to see anything down there. Each search I've learned is very time intensive and emotional for the divers. It's really important to uh, make a recovery uh, for the family. As the family today at Kleinline Pond waits for answers, the sheriff's office once again stresses how important it is to be prepared for water emergencies. You've got to have that life jacket already on and be wearing it before the mishap occurs. And Pioneer's family tells me that he has a wife and three children. The search continues, and as soon as we learn more information, we will update you on coin.com and on our Facebook and Twitter feeds. Reporting live in Vancouver, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. Jenny? Very sad for that family. Thank you, Brent.